Are you leery of throwing thousands or tens of thousands of dollars on the trash just to sell your home? You know that it isn't that hard to do. All I need to do is get people to see the home, right? Look, I get it. You'd be a fool not to at least consider selling your home without a realtor. Commissions are a massive expense and you can sell your home without the use of a realtor. Today, I'm going to address three tips to help you sell your home without paying commissions and I'm going to address a few pitfalls towards the end. So be sure to stick around because these pitfalls can be even more vital to your success than the tips themselves. I'm Chuck Shaver and I am a local realtor with Keller Williams Heritage Realty here in Central Florida. You're probably asking why I would do a video like this. I mean, don't I make a living helping people sell their homes? Don't I want you to list your home with me? Well, of course I do. The reason is simple, it's the elephant in the room. We all know that it is possible to sell your home without a realtor. Denying that is complete silliness. The reality is that most people do consider selling their homes without paying commissions, and if you aren't gonna use a licensed professional, then I at least don't want you to get hurt in the process. For those few that try it, and it isn't for them, I'll be here. Before we get on to those tips and the pitfalls, take just a quick second to hit those like and subscribe buttons so that whenever I post other videos like this, you'll get notified. Of course, if you have real estate questions or you're thinking of selling your home here in Central Florida, just give me a call. I get those calls all the time. Number one, put that baby on Zillow. Although I've heard people question the credibility of some of the data on Zillow, I don't know if anyone that believes that buyers don't look at Zillow. There are a ton of other sites out there that claim to do what Zillow does, but I don't know if any of them that actually carry the weight that Zillow does. It's important to know that for sale by owners don't get the same viewership as other homes and that many buyers will still contact their local realtor to see the home. So this is by no means a silver bullet. Although most homes that are sold in our area are sold with the help of a licensed realtor, occasionally buyers will share with their realtor a home that they found on Zillow. As such, if you're thinking of trying to sell your home without paying commissions, this is a biggie. Number two, hire an attorney. Unless you are an attorney or you're a licensed realtor, you're gonna need help obtaining and filling out those documents. Then you have to be sure they're properly filled out. Deals can die in a hurry if contracts aren't properly completed and lawsuits could follow. As such, don't mess around here. If your top goal is saving money, you don't wanna end up spending tens of thousands of dollars or more on attorney's fees defending yourself in court or trying to get your home back or something like that. Number three, disclose, disclose, disclose. In an attempt to avoid paying commissions, you may end up without some of the legal protections that having a licensed realtor or an attorney may afford you. Now, it's important to know that I am not an attorney and I do not provide any legal advice whatsoever. However, as I'm working with buyers or sellers, I'm using documents that have been prepared by attorneys. This is done with the consumer's protection in mind, so it's a good thing. The last thing you need is to save a few thousand bucks in commissions and to end up in court because the guy you bought your home from allegedly sold you on some false premises. Of course, there are other tips to sell your home without paying commissions, but I believe these are the big ones. Now, let's get onto those pitfalls because they might even be more important than these tips I just mentioned. The number one pitfall is trusting online valuations. Now, there are a bunch of websites out there that offer these valuations for most homes, much like Porridge, some are too low, some are too high, and some are just right. There's no real way to know without the data. You need to know all of the homes that are sold in your area. One way to find this data is to check public records to ensure that you are aware of all the sold homes that matter to you. Trusting a computer algorithm from some company in somewhere, you know, California or whatever, to determine the true value, considering all the nuances of your home in your neighborhood is risky business. I've actually heard sellers brag about how much money they save by not paying commissions. Only when I knew full well that they threw away twice as much as that by underpricing their home. I was, it was really sad. I didn't bother telling them and you know, spoiling their joy, but it was sad, still sad to me. The number two pitfall is not using a professional real estate photographer. Many people think that the quality of the photos doesn't matter, but I think otherwise. And I bet that if you think of homes that you've looked at online, you may too. Bad lighting, poor use of space, or blurry images can cost a seller thousands of dollars. When I have photos that I use for my listings, uh, I want potential buyers salivating for the home before they ever hit the driveway. It's my professional photographer's job to ensure that happens. The number three pitfall is not being willing to pay a realtor if they bring you a buyer. 
Sometimes a realtor's buyer will ask their realtor about a home that is being sold by owner. If so, the realtor may reach out and offer to help connect the buyer and the seller for a fee, which is usually a small percentage of the sale price. This option could cost you just half of the typical commissions and get you at least some of those legal protections that I spoke about earlier. The number four pitfall is getting sued. Yes, that can happen. And it's definitely a pitfall that you want to avoid. If you sell your home without the help of a licensed realtor, be sure to disclose, 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 as I spoke of a few minutes ago. Be sure that everything that is stated is stated in writing. You and the buyer may be BFS forever, but trust me, a couple hundred thousand dollars is enough to make Giselle leave Tom. Well, I guess that already happened, but it can happen. The number five pitfall is not considering all of your options. Maybe you've had a bad experience or you're just overwhelmed by all of it, but there is a reason that realtors get paid for helping homeowners to sell their homes. What if that realtor could get you the same or even more money for your home than you could get on your own? They provide a vast array of marketing tools that most people just can't do, getting thousands more views than those opting to do it by themselves simply can't get. Experience plays a role too. You can spend thousands of dollars because some company tells you that they can get your home in front of thousands of people. I've fallen for that too, and I'm sure that many sellers that are trying to sell their homes without paying commissions have as well. However, experience goes well beyond that. It tells us when to proceed with a potential buyer and when to walk away, how to vet an offer, a lender, or another realtor for that matter, how to handle the difficulties when, not if, they arrive can save you thousands and thousands of dollars. Typically, a licensed realtor with their marketing and the increased number of buyers will offset the commissions that you may have to pay. This may be something worth considering, especially when recalling some of the items I spoke of a few minutes ago. If you haven't done so already, hit those like and subscribe buttons or reach out to me directly if you have questions or real estate needs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.